Hello everyone and welcome back to uh, another one of my uh, traditional watch shaving videos. Today I have something special lined up for you, for everyone. It's this. It's going to be the, I'm going to shave with the uh, True Fit and Hill West Indian Limes shaving cream. And uh, before that, I'm going to put on this True Fit and Hill uh, pre-shave oil. Yes. And to end it all, the uh, West Indian Limes uh, aftershave from, you, you guessed it, True Fit and Hill. So um, I wanted to uh, take the time to uh, present you a very uh, luxurious brand from Britain. And um, it's going to be fun. And I hope you uh, will enjoy this video. So for today's shave, I'm going to be uh, using my uh, sil silver tip uh, badger brush from Parker. And the razor is going to be uh, the Merker 34. And I just stay, uh, I just equipped a fresh feather blade inside here. So it'll be a very nice uh, smooth shave. So uh, let's go ahead and I'll get started. I'll go ahead and uh, apply the uh, pre-shave oil after I've rinsed my face with hot water. Okay, there we go. Should soften up the, the uh, cheeks a little bit. <laughs> okay. Now I'll apply this lotion right here. This too has the uh, scent of lemon, I find. <laughs> okay, just a little bit. Not a whole lot. Just to go out of my way here to prep the face. Very important for any uh, close shave. So, how's everybody been recently? Keeping up with the news? Yeah. It's a couple of days ago from the, from the time of this recording, uh, Prince Harry and Meghan they're no longer uh, a part of the royal family. They're moving to Canada. Yeah. <laughs> well, Megan and Harry, you're always welcome here. The land of cultural diversity. Okay, so I'll go ahead and uh, whip up the lather. Okay, so here we go, and I'll just uh, mix it up in my uh, coffee mug here, or my shaving mug, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and I'll just add a bit of a little bit of water here. Yes, True Fit and Hill, very high quality uh, brand from the UK. So. One of my favorites. Of course, there's a Taylor Vold Bond Street, D.R. Harris, and G.O.F. Trumper. Although I, I have to admit, I've never uh, shaved with any uh, creams from. Uh, GOF Trumpers before. Yes. 
make sure we get this all nice and thick and rich. It's, it's the nice thing about these uh, tubs. They'll last a very long time. Mind you, they're expensive though. In Canada here, one of these tubs costs like $38. That's Canadian. I think that's closer to like, oh, I would say ballpark for a year, $33, $34 US. Okay, so here we are, and I'll go ahead and apply this to my face. Uh, there we go. We're all set. Of course, cardinal rule when it comes to shaving. If you are doing uh, three passes or more, it's critically important to uh, always shave with the grain the first time on the first pass. Okay, so I'll go ahead and take this Mercury 34 and uh, start shaving. Yeah. yeah, it's always important not to uh, press too hard against the uh, skin, even though this is uh, just, well, it's kind of like a, the Mercury 34 is a middle of the world racer. Nevertheless, I equipped a, a feather blade inside of it, so uh, always got to be careful while shaving.
Yes, um, these glycerin uh, shaving creams, they're making a big comeback in a major way. So is uh, traditional wet shaving in general. Yeah, I certainly uh, prefer using uh, one of these uh, razors over um, anything you'd anything you would uh, find at a supermarket or drugstore. That's for sure. And I find that the uh, most ironic thing too is for me. I produced uh, a review about the uh, skin guard from Gillette and uh, ironically that's been my most uh, viewed video of all. I've got uh, other kinds of uh, material on my channel, however um, my Gillette skin guard review um, as of this moment, has over uh, 700 views. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. True Fit and Hill. These shaving creams are glycerin based. Yeah, provide excellent protection for the face. Just to, to ensure um, your shave is close and comfortable. And uh, this scent too, it's quite lively and it's not overpowering. Yeah, this is the shaving cream is very similar to um, that of uh, the lemon lime scent from Taylor Roll Bond Street. They're very similar. Okay, so go ahead and rinse my face and uh, prep my face for uh, pass number two. Yeah, even my sink here smells like lime. <laughs> okay, I'll just go ahead and lather up here. You know, it's always so important to paint, well, apply the cream as if um, the brush here is like a paintbrush.
Okay. Ready for pass number two. Yes, uh, so Truefitten Hill, been in business for over two centuries. Still going strong. Although, I think um, in order to attract more business and to show greater concern for the environment, uh, I think uh, it's in their interest to uh, sell more uh, vegan pr friendly products. Although, I have to admit, um, my silver tip badger, it's from uh, that of a rabbit. However, I pledged to myself going forward, I would only buy uh, synthetic brushes from now on. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I still have to do my uh, third pass shaving against grain. I must say, uh, this cream is definitely working to my benefit. Yeah, so... In regards to uh, True Fit and Hill, I made a couple of videos uh, Featuring their products of two other videos uh, about Truett Fitton Hill as well. The uh, 1805 uh, Shaving Cream and uh, the Apsley uh, Cream. I suggest you uh, check those out. But I think it, I have to admit, uh, thinking, I think in terms of uh, which all the uh, major uh, British uh, shaving brands feature the um, best scented creams in general, uh, True Fit and Hill comes out on top. But um, I have to admit, my absolute favorite shaving cream scent of them all is uh, D.R. Harris Windsor. Yeah. You, with uh, its hint of vetiver, you really get your bang for your buck. Even though uh, a tub is quite expensive, you'll know where that extra money went. Okay. Now, here we are. Looking great. Time for pass number three.
Now, now whenever you're uh, starting out to apply uh, shaving cream to your face, it's always important to uh, press the brush, brush down like that and move in a circular motion to exfoliate the skin. Decreasing the uh, chance of irritation. Decreasing the possibility of irritation. Now I'll go against the grain. Yeah, it certainly feels for me at least, whenever I uh, shave with Truvitnil products, it feels like um, I'm living in luxury. I mean, after all, Truvitnil is, is a, a luxury brand. Definitely not cheap. But uh, for the cost of each tub of cream, uh, it lasts you quite a while. I mean, I've had uh, this tub here of West Indian Limes uh, shaving cream for since. Uh, November, I bought it as part of a uh, Black Friday deal from uh, True Fit and Hills online store. Now, mind you, um, I don't shave with this every single day, every once in a while. Like, uh, when I want to feel pampered. But, um, yeah. Every now, and every now and then you just have to give yourself the royal, royal treatment. Especially after, if you're working long, hard hours, kind of need to reward yourself for the hard work and effort you put in. Mm-hmm. It's feeling smooth now. But 
um, I'll actually do a, a cleanup pass. I'll use the uh, buffing technique just to ensure I get a uh, baby smooth uh, feel. to my skin. There, there we go. I feel like a king. <laughs> okay. So I'll just do a, a quick cleanup pass. Just take all this, apply it to my face, spread it around evenly. There, clean up pass. Hmm. Yeah, it's always important not to uh, go rough at all when uh, doing the buffing technique. Always a very gentle swift strokes, but gentle.
Mm -hmm. yeah, feel really smooth. Yeah, looking good, feeling good too. All right, let's go rinse my face and uh, get ready for the uh, post shave. Yeah, pretty clean look. Okay, I'll just go dry my face and uh, apply the aftershave. Yes. Very important that you do a just a light pat down of the skin. Because if you do it too rough, it'll... Uh, Causing more ir irritation. Cause more redness to your face. Okay, so. For the aftershave. It's the West India Lime scent from True Fit and Hill. Confiscruments. There, so there you have it. So, out of score being, uh, out of score of 10, zero being the uh, absolute lowest and 10 being the absolute highest, I would give uh, this product the cream, the pre-shaved oil, and uh, the aftershave, all of them, nine out of 10. 
I just wish um, this particular scent was just a little bit stronger. That way I can uh, get the maximum enjoyment out of it. Um, but um, it's good, I guess, in a way that um, this scent isn't too powerful. But um, it's just me, you know. I like uh, strong scents. It's just who I am. Okay, so there you have it. So in review, it's what I use the uh, as the uh, pre shave oil. Truffit and Hill. It's a uh, generic scent, but uh, you can uh, pick up the scent of lemon, citrus. Uh, for the shaving cream, it's Truffit and Hill West Indian limes, great stuff. The aftershave. West India Limes, True Fit and Hill, and uh, the brush. It's a uh, silver tip badger from uh, Parker, and the razor, the Merker 34, equipped with a feather blade. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, I hope you found this video to be helpful. Uh, wherever you are in the world, uh, have uh, amazing shaves. Stay tr strong and powerful, be positive, and uh, always know that the universe always has your back. <laughs> yep, I've been uh, following Gab Gabriel Bernstein's 21-day uh, uh, manifestation challenge. Great woman. I met her in Toronto uh, this past, just past December, and uh, I had the courage to say to her, men love you too. And she replied back to me, men love you too. <laughs> Incredible woman. So, um, there you have it. Have a great day. And uh, God bless. Peace. Much love. And namaste. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Cheers. Peace.